Welcome back to tutorial 4. There we go. We have our calculator working anyway. So if I enter any value in here and click on check that, that's what happened. Enter whatever value in here. Okay, you see it's incremented. And here as well, the same thing. So if I now come here, enter my drink. That's the drink we're having and the tax. That's that works, but it's incorrect. I need to get that sorted. Then home delivery. The home delivery is standard price of uh, three pounds thirty nine p. You notice there's no pound sign. I'm going to use this total to get to get that sorted. So the next thing is now to add all of these together. Enter it into subtotal. Then add the value of subtotal and that of uh, tax and then enter that in total so let's do that now so let's start by right clicking on total come to action right here let's go to i might as well use mouse click there the mouse click of total i will enter as follows so maybe i should just call that c total c total That's C total one. I'm going to need three of those. C total two and three. C total two. C total three. Now I need to know the names. The names of. I have these already. I need the name of these. I think that's LBL. Okay. LBL cost of drink. And the other one is the LBL cost of delivery. So come in here, change this to LBL cost of drink, and this is LBL cost of delivery. There, so that is sorted. Now, I will now declare another variable. So let's call that double double all total all total all total equals c total one plus c total two plus c total three This is two, three, two, and one. Close the bracket. Okay. I then need. I then need to declare a string variable. So let's say string. Um. Total. No. That's total equals this is string format I make this string format string dot format right there okay now I I think I can enter my let's enter a pound sign in this one and just dot two decimal places okay then the argument in this case is all total all total all total is taken care of when I need to store the whole I total into J L B L total dot I think the name is wrong. I think I was coming here dot yeah set text. Okay, the set text is I total. That is it. That is the line. This should be the line of code that we're taking all of the value for total. So let's come 
into total one two and three and we can even copy all of these as well just copy it yeah we can copy that and use that inside subtotal we also need to add tax to this to make it complete because this is more or less like subtotal so let's come into yeah subtotal yeah go back in there this will also be the value of subtotal subtotal right that's subtotal and we then need just to add we need to add tax into it but before then let me just compile and run see what will happen first okay what i will do is uh, because this does not work with uh, the click events i think it, it works better with uh, the other events so maybe i'm gonna have to just move everything let me show it to you guys you see what i'm talking about okay when i run the program just say i enter my value in there just check those that's the tax this has to be changed okay home delivery let's get our drink home delivery yep if i click on total oh that works okay then that's fine okay click works and the calculator is working might as well leave it there and this is working so what is left for me to do now is this and i need to be able to add this to this and arrive at total so let's get that sorted okay let's look in that let's see what it went awesome okay mouse enter i mean here let's check out the codes okay that's the line so cool let me get rid of this get rid of that now I've only just added all of this which is wrong I need to be able to add everything I have to be able to add everything so everything that I'm adding so and now assign it to this that put that here and we need to divide this by 100 divide all of this by 100 divide by 100 get rid of this I don't need that here for now okay I'm gonna get rid of this for now and just delete everything here yeah it's not needed so exactly the same lines of code i've used for the total will be used to work out the tax divide that by 100 now i need to now get the value in here whatever is in here add it to total itself okay double click on total i think that is on mouse click mouse click here okay paste that in there now copy all of this okay let's copy this yes cut this off that is the tax now getting the value inside the tax the value inside the tax itself make that number four will also be added to this plus number four total four so that will give us that should give us this but subtotal less in the case of subtotal maybe i have to do something else okay let's come in at subtotal let's declare another variable for subtotal and 
and this is will be sub sub total we not have that of the tax and this will just be sub total there that is sub total yeah okay that's not gonna work it need to be converted as well so okay let's come in here copy this and just convert that to subtotal right. okay you cut that off so i don't get it confused paste that in there now this need to be i subtotal and this is i subtotal as well as a conversion taking place there because it has to be converted to string value this is the conversion of total this is a conversion of subtotal okay now we have them in pound sign and when we click on that we might as well convert this to pound sign as well I think maybe we should do that I'll just copy it then take care of one for tax I total tax so this will be tax and this is I total tax as well I total tax And here, this will be C4. Let's just copy that. Change that to C4. Right there. Okay. I think that will do it for this total. So let's see how it's going to work. Compile. Okay. Just before I run it, there was an error here. This was showing all total. All total is for the overall total. And this is subtotal which is this okay and that is that so if you want we can just move this let's move it paste it right on top of this so that you guys don't mix it up and this is for subtotal right there overall total subtotal and tax Alright, so let's run this program, compile again, and run. Okay, let's have a go at it. I have some values in there. Okay, so change this out. Yep, that's correct. Increase that. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's go for drink. Okay, we have the price of drink there. It's an own delivery now total that's the tabs and just click on that so you see we add this together to get this so that is correct now let's convert it to maybe Brazilian money that's, uh, maybe 54 convert that and if you want you can use the calculator just to multiply it and see what will happen with that well oh, just before I call it the end of this program I think I need to just straighten this up and maybe entire receipt there okay so let's get that sorted now exit okay first thing first is to enter the test area there let's look for yeah there we go just enter that there i'm not going to spend much time on this receipt because we will uh, while we a lot of time already okay the receipt has been taken care of these are the lines of code for the receipt i haven't i didn't bother go over the top with the receipt but uh, you get the whole idea anyway that's it right there okay from here down here okay and one other thing that i would like to draw your attention to is total I've actually used I've now changed the event back to total action performed instead of a mouse click 
So those are the lines of code for uh, click uh, uh, for total calculation. The other lines of code I'd like to show to you guys is uh, a simple one: the reset button. That is the reset button right there. Those are the lines of code for that. And exit. Here we go. That's exit. And then we have home delivery. I think I've used click events there. Let's come here, mouse click. Right there. That's it. Right there. Those are the lines of code for that. The next one is for tax. We should okay mouse click as well on tax and those are the lines of code for tax and the lines of code for chicken burger I think is here no this mouse click I used okay go back there mouse click on those ones right there that's for chicken burger from here down here okay then from here down here those are the lines of code for chicken meal and then the lines of code for bacon cheese meal that is it right there and with that I'll call it the end of this program so before I go I just need to compile it one more time and show it to you guys I've imported the following though and uh, here are all my variables these are the variables that I used and these are the variable for conversion com uh, the currency converter alright so let's just compile and run the program so enter let me enter the amount of chicken burger, chicken meal, six of those, and four of bacon and cheese burger. So the drink that we want, let's go for maybe apple juice. That's the cost of apple juice. We want it to be home delivery. And we want, okay, we need to add up all the meals here. Yeah. Then the tax we're paying, that's cheap, that's the tax. And then, uh, total as it if you notice we add this to this that will give you 83 and that will be 56 pounds 80p and if you want your receipts just click on the receipt that's the receipt right there if you want to convert it to whatever currency you might decide to use let's make that seven and just convert it there so and that's how you develop your own restaurant management system using Java NetBean and the calculator also works too right there so with that I'll call it the end of this very long tutorial I suppose you all enjoy it you all have a nice day now